Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Ready? Well, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say too much about that right now, but that's the trailer for uh Daniel Brandon documentary that's gonna be coming out on March twenty-seventh. Uh, she's been kind enough to share it with both Patrick and myself, and we've watched it, um, made some notes, and have an opportunity to talk to her a little bit about some of the themes, some of the things that um, we kind of took note of in terms of watching it, hopefully with the intent of getting you guys excited for it and the opportunity to learn a little bit more about her story. You know, the caption of that trailer there is everybody loves a good story. <laughs> um, so uh, and we, before we get into some of those specific questions, though, I ju just want to ask you, Danielle, just off the bat, you know, um, you're still a, a, a relatively young woman on this earth and you're kind of in the middle of your career. What inspired you guys to do this now? Um, I think now is was just a better time for me because I never at the beginning of my career wanted to um, be defined by something like this. I never wanted my story to be as weird as it sounds. I never wanted my story to be the reason why people followed me or why people um, could almost like relate to me. I think I wanted to almost like build something for myself and on my own um, because I think oftentimes when people have, come from a background like this or come from, you know, whatever it is they've gone through. I think that's the thing that people really attach to. And um, I just wanted to, wanted people to follow me for not, I shouldn't say like the right reasons, but follow me for who I am today and not who I was. Um, yeah. I think that's, I think that's, that's really well said. And, uh, you know, this is kind of a, a little bit of a strange interview we were talking about because we've all seen the movie, but when you guys are watching this, you mm -hmm. won't have even had the opportunity to watch it yet. It'll still be about probably five to seven days before the documentary actually does get released. Uh, and, and when that does happen, Danielle, uh, do you know where and how people will be able to watch it? Yeah, you can watch it free on YouTube. So it'll be free, like very accessible to everybody. Will it be on your channel or the Raj channel or? Um, you know a lot I'm not sure of. Okay. But I think um, it potentially could be on mine and maybe another one. Mm -hmm. so. You search Daniel Brandon Energy documentary on YouTube, you're going to feel pop. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be somewhere. Oh. Okay. So we have five questions that we've come up with. They're sort of these kind of themes that we identified throughout the movie. Daniel doesn't know what we're going to ask her at all. Um, and we're just going to leave it kind of open-ended. This is not going to be kind of like a traditional uh, free-flowing interview style. So I'm going to ask a question. We'll see what she has to say about it. Patrick will do the same, and we'll go back and forth for kind of five rounds of that and uh, and see what happens. So first question out the gate, Danielle. What do the words friends and family mean to you? Ooh. Mm, I don't think I really differentiate between the two much um, in terms of like as cheesy it is, as it is, my friends are my family. Um, I think my whole life I've kind of had to pick my family, pick my family. And so, and those have always been what you would consider friends. So I guess I just like kind of group them all into one, friends and family, family, friends, same thing. Perfect. I'll pass it off to Patrick for the next one. It, this this question kind of relates to that one. Um, how hard is it as a person? Uh, how hard is it for DB to yeah. gain trust from friends or family or a complete strangers? Ooh, I think that's. Um, I mean, very tough. Mm -hmm. Quite quite literally to answer that, it is really tough for me. I think um, Cooper is a good testament to that and knowing my kind of like boundaries and trust and 
um, where I put people in my life or how I keep people in my life. I think um, some people will make a couple comments even in the documentary about like, if you're in my circle, you're in my circle and you feel that. Um, mm -hmm. So if I trust you, I really trust you. If I don't, then you're probably outside of the circle. <laughs> <laughs> how big is that circle very close okay. very close sometimes i open it mm -hmm. but then i i'm reminded why i should keep it closed usually fair enough all right third one uh to what extent or not are you willing to admit that to some degree sports kind of saved you oh i'll admit it all day i mean sports and people like I don't think it was sports alone I think it was the people within sport that also saved me yeah well, um so a big part and I was really surprised a big part of the documentary and it's I think was the whole underdogs you being a part of underdogs it, it was a I think probably about half the documentary was about your time at underdogs good or bad um how was it reliving, reliving the reliving those underdogs years uh, in the documentary, kind of just going through everything, uh, good and bad? How hard was it? Yeah, I think during the interview, uh, there was a lot of things that were brought up that I'll get like super emotional about, and I don't even know. Like, I think in the documentary, I'm pretty emotional about it, but I think like behind the scenes, like I was. I was very emotional about the whole thing and like having to talk about it again. Um, but luckily like Cooper was there, you know, and Cooper is somebody that I've talked a lot about with it. So um, it made it feel a little better just like having him there when talking about something like that. But um, behind the scenes, like I was very like, I was very emotional about it. And, you know, even to this day, like if I talk to somebody about it, it's still like very hard and emotional for me. But not as not as much anger, you know. <laughs> I will say, in, in in general, I I thought you composed yourself extremely well, considering the the full array of topics that were discussed in that interview. Yeah, they they really yeah they didn't give me ugly crying a lot, which was good. <laughs> <laughs> which was good. I was like, oh man, like they really did me a solid there. <laughs> Yeah, I, I think I might have teared up more times watching it than uh, I could visibly see you tearing up in what they chose to include. Yeah, yeah. All right, the last one, and uh, I think is kind of a, uh, maybe a good one just for like the, the crossfitting audience in particular. Um, what would you say about this, this concept of having the belief that you can win the CrossFit Games being either a positive or a negative thing in your life? Ooh, in reference to just in general as a, you know, as a competitive athlete in the sport. Yeah. Um, I think specifically to me when I had, um, when I've had or have had the belief that I could win the CrossFit games, I think the only like, I mean, a negative that came with that is when you don't win the CrossFit games, right? Like, you're kind of like, oh shit, especially I'm not a very goal oriented person. So I don't really set goals. Um, you know, whether I do that to like protect myself from letting myself down or not. Um, I think like having that belief though, it was better than not having that belief. I mean, you know, I find I've, I felt this expectation, but I didn't really negatively put pressure on myself. It was more of like, I think I only told like, one, maybe two people that like, I believed that. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like very, very like, because it, but it was like such a strong feeling that I had um, that I was like, man, like, I feel like I need to tell someone. Cause I was like, you know, if I do win, like how crazy would that be? Like, you know, I told this person I had this belief and it happened. Mm -hmm. uh, but the only negative down, like down to that was not reaching that goal, but that came with, knowing why, like, I was like, yeah, I know why I didn't. It wasn't like due to a lack of like belief or confidence. It's just like very obvious, physical, literal things that needed to happen in order for me to do that. And those just didn't happen. It wasn't due to like a lack of effort or anything like that. 
Sure. No, I think that's uh, that's really well said. And uh, and again, um, I had probably come up with uh, around like 50 different things that I felt like I could potentially ask you about for this mm -hmm. uh, interview, but I wanted to keep it kind of simple. Wanted to just hit on some kind of themes of the overall documentary. Uh, this is, uh, Patrick actually had said this really, really well. He, he had a very much of a 30 for 30 on ESPN feel when he watched it. Uh -huh. I think that people who are fans of Danielle, fans of the sport, or just kind of curious about her, maybe, maybe they haven't, uh, always understood the way that she's acted in different scenarios or whatever. Like this is a really good insight into some things that maybe, maybe you won't be surprised by, but I think more, more often than that, you will be. Um, and I'm hopeful that people will watch it and, and enjoy it and reflect on it. And like you said at the beginning, uh, maybe have an opportunity to relate on the human level, if nothing else. Oh, yeah. Well said. Yeah. That was good. <laughs> so very short one for us. Uh, that was kind of the intent here. Uh, the documentary will be coming out on March 27th. You can find it on YouTube. It's free to watch it. Please enjoy it. And uh, we hope that you enjoyed this little get together with Daniel. Yeah, thank you guys. That was good. Hey, DB, do you think we can get you on afterwards to review it? Put you uh, on the spot? Oh, that'd be kind of cool. Yeah. 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 Maybe I can ask more of those questions. Those questions, exactly. Oh, I like that. Okay. Yeah, that'd be cool. I like a little debrief. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe exactly. maybe if you if you think there's questions, people would have, if they had the same questions, you know, that'd be yeah. cool. All right. Well, that will do it for today. Thank you, guys, and enjoy the documentary.